Sometimes we create stairs and landings in our projects. In the ground floor, everything seems alright, but when we are in the sections, it's like a nightmare because the intersection between the stair and our level landing looks terrifying. There are different reasons of that. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of those. Alright, here we are in our kit and we are going to start this one creating a simple stair. Let's just go to stair tool and create a stair with these settings. It's going to start with zero and to the first story and the baseline is from left or right. It's not important for now. And we are in the ground floor. Let's click here. And create a stair. Something like this. Let's click the stair. It's width 1 meters. In the settings, we have this start with riser and end with riser or end with treat setting. Let's just leave this as is. Let's click OK. But that was important. I'm going to show you why. And now we are in the story one. And we are going to basic slab for the structure type. For instance, I'm going to create concrete structure. And as you can see, by the way, we can see the stair coming from the ground floor to the first story. Now I'm going to create my, my, my landing or first story level to here. In the 3D window, we have something like this. We have structural material, this one, and also for the stair, we have a structural material too, and we have wooden treat and step risers actually. Now we go to ground floor and we are going to create a section. Let's just go to section tool and create a section to this direction. Now we can go to the section menu, open up the menu, double click that. And this is what we get. We have some problems here. First one, we have a gap between the level and stair. And also we have a triangle connection problem again. By the way, if your structural material was another kind of material, for instance, if it were reinforced concrete structural, you could see a line between those. But the key thing is using the same material, reinforced concrete structural. But actually, this is reinforced concrete structural. We have irons inside this. But now we have to change this material too. Let's click that and hit the control plus D. And go to structure, flight. And in the flight settings, we have building material. This is concrete structural. We are going to change this one to, to reinforced concrete structural. And also, we can change the landing material too is the same material. By the way, let's try something. I'm going to make this brick. Yeah, it's brick to change both. Same time. Very good. Okay. The finished materials are going to be lived as is. Let's click OK. Now we had rid of that unwanted line. Now the second step is getting rid of the, this triangle connection point problem. We are going to click the stair tool and go to settings. We click the flight monolithic again and we have support connections. Under the support connections, we can change the settings. We are going to change this, this time flight and as you can see, it's vertical cut. And if you look, look carefully, you will see the triangle connection problem. We don't want to see it, so we click this 
open up menu and we have very good options here you can select one of them for instance i'm gonna select this horizontal connection let's try that we have parameters here dx dy1 dy2 i'm going to leave those as is because i'm going to change them according to the this situation let's click ok yeah nothing changed now we are going to change this this settings it asks us dy this is d dy2 and the parameter is 30 centimeters thickness so in the settings i am going to change that to 30. or 300 millimeters as you can see something was changed by the way i am going to change the the working units to centimeters all right now we are going to change other parameters for instance let me input here 10 click ok as you can see, the landing was extended to 10 centimeters away. And also we have another intersection problem. So we don't need to do that. Let's hit the control plus Z to make undo. And at this time, we need to change the stair type to end with riser. With the end of riser, the stair will be stopped with this number to it and we will see a gap here something like this but with this gap we have a space for the finishing material and it's inside a little of the landing is three centimeters so now we are going to use that value this time here it was 3 minus 3 let's try minus 3 it won't happen anyways in this situation the thing has going to happen is we are going to change this edge location in the floor plan in the first floor we click the edge offset edge and we are going to align this edge with the this stair edge in the section well i think we need one more centimeter let's do that let's just extend this offset this one centimeter more and now they're full fit expect with this empty part now this is three centimeters remember we could change this dx and we can input here three centimeters the reason of happening this is we are working centimeters but we cannot see the millimeters maybe this was 2.5 or something like that it's not important now we can change that in the floor plan again let's try that there we go it's nearly exact thickness and we have a very little gap here this is the solution if this is the solution you want you can go with that or if this is not you can try other settings for instance we have horizontal cut with cutout let's try that and this is more interesting in the settings for instance we can try this try to change these values this CY parameter is going to be 30. 
Next click OK. And click our stair from here to here 30 centimeters. OK, it's true. Now let's try to input here a value to 10 centimeters. And as you can see, it's 10 centimeters. And set the position to 10 centimeters. And now they're intersecting through. And once more, we have, we have a gap between those is 3 centimeters. Let's go to settings again. And that is this parameter. Let's try to input here 3. Yeah, and this is what we get. And true intersection solution for our stair. Alright, that's all it for this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new and enjoyed with the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. See you.